Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a first look at Injective's decentralized exchange. The community has recently voted in favor of enabling the DEX for spot markets on Injective's governance, so it, it has just been deployed on mainnet. In order to access the DEX, you need to choose Adilayer. Adilayer is just an entity that provides a front end to the exchange, which allows you to interact and actually post trades on, on, on the DEX. As we've stated in the announcement article, at the moment Injective has only two other layers which can be found directly on the official website, which where we are now. If you have to find them, you just need to, to click here on trade and you see the two other layers. I'll choose this one and this will bring you to the front end to trade on the exchange. So what we see here is a series of markets which have all been proposed and approved by governance. These are all spot markets which mean that you need to In order to actually go in a market and trade in said market, for example, if I wanted to buy INJ with USDT, what you need to do is get or have USDT on Ethereum and bridge USDT to Injective. And this is the situation I am in. I have both some ETH and also USDT. You need ETH to pay for gas fees. So here, here is how you do it. You go in a market and well, let's, let's first connect the wallet. You can both connect MetaMask or Ledger. In my case, I connect MetaMask which is connected to the ledger, but it doesn't matter. So I'm signing the message on my ledger. Okay, so as you can see, there are two sections. You see injective chain balances and sub-account funds. Injective chain balances refers to every balance that you have bridged to injective chain. So I had bridged uh, some INJ the last time, but I haven't bridged any USDT. So I need, to bridge, I need to bridge it in order to get it there and, and buy INJ with it. After I, ha I have bridged it, I will transfer it to the sub-account funds, which refers to the funds that I use on, 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 on the exchange module. So here you can both transfer INJ from Ethereum and USDT from Ethereum. A little note, currently Injective only has a bridge with Ethereum. So this is, these are the only assets you can actually bring over. So I, I will allow the transfer of USDT. It will prompt a transaction on MetaMask. Confirm. So, as you can see, it's pending. So we'll just wait a little bit. This, trans this transaction occurs on Ethereum, on the Ethereum bridge contract. That's why it can take a while to confirm.
if you are in doubt whether your your transaction went through whether it's confirmed or not what you can do is go to itlscan.io and look up your address okay so yeah as you can see i have an approved transaction which is still pending so i don't really need to do anything but wait until it's confirmed on ethereum it will also show you an approximate progress so we should be closed Okay, so the transaction seems to be confirmed. Yeah, it, it says it's confirmed on MetaMask. So now what, what we've done with this transaction is allow the bridge contract to spend our ESC20 asset, in this case, USDT. Now let's go, let's go to actually transfer it. So I'm going to transfer, let's say 10. So currently there is also a trading limit on injective of uh, $50. So you can trade more than that for safety reasons. Let's, trans let's transfer 10 USDT. Okay. So I'm actually going to make it faster this time. <laughs> okay, I just put the transaction. And I guess while it confirms, let's take a quick look at what are these sections in the interface. So here I've just opened this, this particular spot market, I ING USDT. You will see here some information such as the last the price, the, the change in the last 24 hours, volume, high and lows. Here we have our open orders. So limit orders that haven't been filled yet. There aren't any because I didn't post any limit order. Here we have a history. I did some test trades before. And on, on the right instead, we, ha we see globally on this market how the order book looks like. So the sell side and the buy side and also a history of all the trades that's been executed. Okay, so let's see if it's confirmed. Yes, looks like it is. So I'm going to refresh this page. Okay, so looks like we've been credited with, with the USDT on injective chain. So if you go on MetaMask, I now don't have 20 USDT anymore, but 10, and here is the other 10. So what you need to do now is transfer from your general injective chain balance to the DEX sub-account funds, okay? So let's deposit. I could, I have some INJ as well on, on injective chain, but I want to deposit USDT. So max, it will prompt a transaction. So I just confirmed it. Okay, so 
I have just deposited 10 USDT on a sub account fund, as you can see. So what we can do now is make an order on the market. I could both market buy INJ, in which case I would buy at the best price that is available. So right now, uh, 6.5 6 USDT for one INJ, or I could post a limit order alternatively. So what, for example, I say, I want to buy one INJ at the price of four, four, four USDT. If the price ever gets there, I will be a buyer. I am, I, I am a maker in this case. So let's let's make this. As you can see, I now have the open order in the open orders tab. It's not filled. It gives you all the info. I'm I'm now going to cancel it because I don't need it. Let's now go and market buy INJ. Nice. So in, in this case, you don't need to define a price. You just say buy. Okay. So as you can see, I just bought 1.52 INJ. What I could do now is withdraw INJ back to injective chain balances and it will show up in the staking dashboard and then you can also stake it. You can delegate it to a validator so earn staking rewards and participate in governance. Okay, so here it is. It's gone back to the injective chain balances. And that's about it. You can hang out in the community chats if you need any help.